In August 1955, a group of white men murdered a 14-year-old black boy in the Mississippi Delta. News of the murder and the trial that followed it outraged black and sympathetic white Americans across the nation, and reaction to the famous murder case played an important role as a catalyst for the civil rights movement. This is a true account of the people and events connected to the murder of Emmett Till. Please be safe in Mississippi. You're going to love it, though. But I want you to be safe, okay? Tell your Uncle Mo I said hey. I love you. I love you, too. I'm going to miss you, too. Lord, please let my son be safe. Talking about a big, bro. It's a pretty little white woman in there. It's y'all Chicago cats know so much about white girl. Yeah, go get a date with her. Thanks, Carolyn. All right. You ain't stupid, man. Dude, stupid. You ain't gonna get mad. Excuse me. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Carolyn. Rejected. Rejected. Come on, bro. Got two boys from Chicago in there? Yeah, they're sleeping. I want the one that did the talking and wanted he in there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he done the talking? I'll say yes. Well, I'll blow your head off. Come on. Hey, hey, say you recognize us? Don't leave me 65. Don't take him. He's brains in Chicago. He don't know what he's doing.
Did y'all just see that? I know, it's priceless. She's so fat. It is kind of nice. I'm just trying to help it. I got an idea. Follow me. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, Chair. I would like to ask y'all some questions about an investigation, if you don't mind. We don't know anything about it, but we can sure try to help. Have you ladies heard anything about Emma Till, the teenager who was found dead a few days ago? God bless. No, officer. I can't say we have. So neither of your husbands might have mentioned over the past few days? Well, obviously, it's not a very big topic of discussion right now. All right. Well, if you do hear anything that might be helpful, it would be mighty appreciated. Yes, sir. We'll let you know. I really liked your PowerPoint presentation this morning. I really um, liked it. Am I crazy? Or are you talking to me? Why do I want to be seen talking to you? Take up another of the whole way already. Get out of my way, Geraldine. You heard it. Get out of my way. Hey, everyone. Is it, is it, is it just me? Or do y'all wonder if she wears gym shorts? And then I realize it's just a fat girl's covering them up. <laughs> I hope she has about two extra large t shirts and throw them together just to have clothes. <laughs> her belly hits her face when she runs. Y'all, she's a giant. She has a gravitational pull. Wait, I don't get it. Shut up, Brittany. You're so stupid. I'm just glad I don't look like that. 
Did you just like laughing? Mm-hmm. It's a mixture between glad and happy. You're an idiot. I'm just glad none of y'all look like that. I, I sure would have been your friend if you did. Let's just cut none of that song on the own way, baby. You better keep up with the crowds, girls. Shut up, Christine. I said your best on fire. Oh, yes. I miss you. Geraldine, don't get down about those people. Those people are just a bunch of stuff up the ground. No, they're right. No one likes me. I'm fat and I'm worthless. I could die today and no one would care. Geraldine, I would care. And you have to know that death is not something you can joke about. I'm just thanks, but just leave me alone, okay? Hey, Lucy. Um, uh, why do you keep talking to her? Um, she's just, um, she's so disgusting. Just stop. If you keep hanging out with her, you're going to be just like her. You're going to be fat, and no one's going to like you. Travis will definitely not go out with you. You need to start using that pretty little head of yours, Lucy. Christine, chill out. Nobody likes her. So Honestly, what was she saying? She was talking about... She's talking about how hungry she is. <laughs> That's priceless. It's not surprising. She never stops eating. <laughs> Come on. Please talk to the principal. I'm sorry, sweetie. He's not here. Okay. Geraldine, the butter bean, the fattest thing we've ever seen. Geraldine, the butter bean, the fattest thing we've ever seen. Geraldine, the butter bean, the fattest thing we've ever seen. Geraldine, the butter bean, the fattest thing we've ever seen. <laughs> Stuff on that Emmett Till boy. I mean, it's kind of taking its toll by now. Have you read everything that's been said about him? I mean, a little bit. Like, what's it been saying? Well, according to Life magazine, they published an editorial that read, Sleep well, Emmett Till. You'll be avenged. You'll be remembered as long as men have tongues to cry against you. How sad. I mean, like, Newsweek and Time, all of those magazines, like the National Magazine, they've, they've been stating the same thing. I don't understand. Murderers. Not even if I'm guilty. It's just not fair. Is it have your attention? Uh, I'm sorry to say one of our owners is taking their own life. Uh, please keep the family uh, feeling and prayers. Yeah.